Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. So, in this one I am going to see Hosea uh, at some ranch, whatever this place is called. And, uh, oh there you go, Emerald Ranch. And uh, I'm... Oh, son of a bitch. You gotta be shitting me. Just as I stop, like, <laughs> just as I stop this as well. might search one of these guys, see if they've got any money, because I need money. I've only got fourteen dollars and one cent to my name. Oh, that's a nasty shot. Right through the nose. Uh, he had a, just over a dollar on him, so that's good. Dollar and a half. Okay, Jose, where are you? It's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Uh, Hosea has all the good missions. <laughs> all the interesting ones, anyway. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Go to... Car... Carmody Dell. The guy just said it. Why am I having a hard time pronouncing it? Show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Watch out. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Hmm. 
trying to get this... Th th it said if I hit X in time with the horse's gallop, it'll stop the stamina from draining, but... I don't know if I'm hitting it on time or not. Isn't I think I am. The stamina is still draining, though, so I don't think I am. I don't know. Yeah, I don't don't think I quite got that mastered yet, or if I ever will. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Use your Binax. There you go. Him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Uh, yeah, nightfall. Thank you very much. Just wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. All right. Now this is a proper thing of sneaking, stick, you know, uh, sneaking you thieving. I was gonna, was gonna to pick another word, but nope, thieving so works just as well. A good thieving mission, right here. Like if, if you're going in the day, I, I, that comes with a lot more. It's more challenging, but this is quite straightforward. You just literally go in there. It's not even like the the front door's locked or anything. I say that now, and it's going to be locked or something stupid. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's uh, let's start, shall we? So there's forty-five dollars worth of shit in this place. Let's uh, see what we can get. Anything interesting here? No. Anything in the kitchen? <gasps> no bedroom. Oh shit! I got seventeen dollars somehow. Thirty-six. Anything good in here? Okay, but if I go upstairs... <laughs> I'm, I'm just being greedy here, but I've only got like fifteen dollars to my name. I need uh, I need more. I need this carrot because you need a good carrot, I guess, for the horse. You know, I'm thinking of more than just me here. All right, what else is up here then? Okay, you can't open anything else. Fine. Be like that. Oh, you can. This can open the chest. Knuckle duster. No, it's a bracelet. I was miles off. Hmm. 
Oh, damn it, Arthur. Come on. Yeah. What's in here? Uh, a canteen? Nope, $13. Money clip. That's what that was. Another money clip? If a dollar ninety one can fit into a money clip. Uh, right, I got almost a hundred dollars from this outing. Ninety three point eighty one. Um that's probably the best I'm gonna get. Ah, uh, if only I could see the looks on their faces when they <laughs> wake up tomorrow morning and uh, everything's just open gone. All the doors are like the drawers are open and all the doors are open. Even that one carrot they left out on the counter is gone. Fine. Sure. Here we can, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Slow it down a bit. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Salt o the earth. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Hey, um, no. Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, stay out of trouble. Okay, let's go see John. John! Ooh. I've recently come into a bit of money. $115 to be exact. Okay, get the uh, marker up for John. And let's go to see John. Uh, no, no, I can't. I can't see fences in the middle of the night, if, if memory serves, so I'll come back some other time. Because I'm sure I've got, like, watches and shit to sell. Stuff I've taken off bodies and stolen from places. I'm sure that stuff just stacks up after a while, so I wouldn't mind getting rid of it. Um, okay, that's way too many guns <laughs> on my back right now, as I'm going to put the shotgun away. Okay, time to rob a train. Ah, Sean. Shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. 
I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. New raid. Uh, hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's. Remote, but she'd still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Boss, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this again. Oh. I do like Sean. He's a good character. Sulky, angry, scared Are you trying to kill us here? A right barrel of laughs. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I love, I love this guy. He's amazing. Charles, you deal with the engineer. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody. Okay, let the train robbery commence. Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still would die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. It's a train robbery. Nothing good. 
I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. All right, get on that train. I know that guy's technically knocked out, but he's, most of these people are, are, are dead. They've gotten serious brain damage from being just battered across the head with metal. Like that guy. His jaw is probably like shattered now. Yeah, well. I like, I like how she, she's the one who spoke, he's the one who's shitting himself. Because he thinks I'm gonna hit him. Which I am. Like as we leave, he's like, For God's sakes, woman, why did you have to open your mouth for? You pissed him off and he smacked me in the jaw. As you wish. Right, let's, right. Where is that? Is that Sean Burr? Yeah, I think that's Sean. Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. Probably something in here, Arthur. Hey, I shot his hat off. You see, if, if these guys were like the main characters in a western movie, then that would have been a very abrupt ending that they just had. It's like the, it's like the Magnificent Seven, but they all get shot in the first like two minutes. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. In that case, we're fighting. Marshal Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now. Do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a You fools. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberals. Eh? There's a few more to turn it over. Damn my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Let's ride. No wait, that's the wrong one. Uh Oh, I keep shooting the hats off. Ooh, that was right in the heart. Okay. That was a pretty uh that's pretty smooth going. Right, let's lose him. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. What's going on? Why can't I escape the red? Yep, there you go. Cool. I should probably get off the train tracks. Because judging by how my luck goes, that, that's what's going to happen. The wanted level is going to disappear, and I'm just going to get smacked by a train. Professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Okay, pouring forth oil. So, the next one is Micah, and that's quite a ways away. So for now, I think I'm going to call it a day. I uh, hope you've all enjoyed the episode. This one's been a bit quicker than the previous one. A bit better too, I think. A bit more action-packed. I've got a lot more done. Beyond simply because I've had the horse nearby. And it hasn't been a case of, like, I spawn to retry a mission and the horse is just bloody miles away. Out of whistling range. Um, so yeah, I think i got, you know, a few more episodes like this and I should be on the next chapter, finally. Um, for now, though, that's pretty much it. If you could leave a like for the uh, episode, that would be very generous. If you could leave a comment down below, too, I will do my best to get back to you. Or just leave a like, depending on what the comment is, obviously. Um, what else? Uh, if you could hit the subscribe button as well, before I forget. Because um, I upload a lot to my channel, and it's a good way to keep up to date. There's also a notifications button below subscribe, I believe, that you can hit, and I'll keep you up to date to with all the you know s the stuff released on my channel. For now though, that's all uh, that's all there is. So until the next episode, you look after yourself and you take care. Ta da.